Hello guys, so welcome back to another video. Today we will be taking a look at a new tool called Intract. Now Intract did reach out to me back in April to see what I think of the product and I enjoyed it so that's why I decided to make this video. Now this video is not sponsored by them so all of my opinions will obviously not be biased and I did not get sponsored so I just wanted to clear that up before we actually get started. So let's get into it. What we want to do is obviously log in and since this will probably be your first time you will have to sign up for an account. In my case I already have an account so I will just log in here. Alright so once we are logged in we will be greeted with a dashboard here. So let's just get straight into it. Uh, what we want to do is first create a new model. So one way we can do that is by coming over to the community tab and in here we want to head over to CS2. Now in here, Intract have provided all the models of the current weapons in the game. So in our case, we will just use a USB as a, this tutorial. What we want to do is we want to click on it. And in here, it will load up the USB to actually view the, the USB here. So in here, you can inspect the USB before we actually get started editing. It's a very sleek design and a good viewer. Now, we want to use this, so what we can do is we can copy this over to our models. We could add it to a collection, but that's not something we are going to discuss in this tutorial. But you could do this when creating multiple skins for the same collection. For example, the Prince Doom has it, uh, the Hyper Beast, you know, things like that. You can make a uh, collection for it. So let's copy this over and this will process all of the information, some save points and uh, some files. And once this is done, we can start editing the, uh, the USB here. All right, so the copying is done. What we can do is we can click on the model here or we can close and we come, we come to the models tab here, click on USB and this way we will be taken to the editor. So once we are in here, we will first just take a quick look at what Intract offers us. So when we get started here, all we can do is pretty much change the layout and the design of the whole USB at once. So this will be the first thing I will talk over. And then later on in the video, I will show you how you can uh, separate these parts and modify them separately. So let's just go over all of these features here. So first up is colors. Now in here you can select your color right down here and you can choose any color you want. In my case, I'll just choose a dark blue. Now you have the color selected. What you want to do is click on the weapon and you click on the color. Now, as you can see, this didn't really change much. And that is because our lighting is actually uh, too dark here so we can change it to something else to actually go ahead and change the color to what it's at All right so there we are this actually looks a bit more like it uh, we changed the scene HDRI at the bottom right here and we went to lighting and we changed the HDRI to studio now this seems to affect the colors a bit better um, yeah, it still looks a bit too dark for me, but I'll just have to play around with this setting, I think. Yep. Okay. Well, that's something we can do in the future. For now, we'll just keep going. Uh, then we have textures. Now in here, we can actually go to the texture library. Once we are in here, there are already some predefined uh, textures here. So, for example, we can just take one. Uh, I'll just take this gold looking model and we can actually apply this to our weapon as well so if you we just click on it and then click on the texture we can see it adds that texture with the color we have selected over here so it overlays it now as you can see this actually looks pretty cool so I'll just keep this as is but what you can do is you can change rotation you could also go ahead and simply offset it or change the skill but I'll just keep this uh, at the default even though I don't remember what the default was, it's probably just one. Yeah, whatever. So that was the textures tab. So that's really cool. You can also upload your own textures here. So you can click on textures and you could add one in here and then just uh, apply it that way. 
They also offer AI textures, but I will not go over this. Then there are some decals, which you can also apply to your weapon. For instance, I have uploaded this decal here. That's a sticker into the game. Um, you can then select that and upload your own and click on it to actually place it somewhere. So if you want decals on your skin, you can do it this way. Just simply click and place them where you want them. I don't want this for now, so I'll just remove them. But it's a really nice option to have for uh, creating your skin. So it is actually that easy to um, make your own skin here. So this is already what I want. This is what I like. So for this simple skin, uh, we can simply export it. Like go over here, click on export. Now this will actually bake everything, make the right lighting, the UV maps and everything like that. Now we can download anything, but we obviously want the TGA here. So we download TGA and then what we want to do is we want to come over to our file explorer and we want to go ahead and go to our drive here where the CS is installed. So in my case, it's installed on my E drive. We go to the library, Steam apps, common. In here, we want to go to Counter Global Offensive. Then we go over to content, CSGO add-ons, workshop items. And then in here, we want to go over to items, assets, paint kits. And then we are at the right location. What we then want to do is move our file here to our paint kits folder and we can rename this to uh, something. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. It's just what you want uh, the name to be. Uh, it's, yeah, it really doesn't matter as I've said. So once we have this done, we can go ahead and open up CSGO. We can open the workshop tools. Now, if you don't have this, what you want to do is actually launch into CS2 and there will be an option in the settings to download the workshop tools. So that way, when you launch CS2 again, you have this option right here. So we hit play. Then in here, we can simply launch the workshop tools. All right, so now that we have opened the workshop tools, we can go over to the gunsmith tab here and we could either create a new paint kit, but I have one made here for the USB already. Now you could do this per weapon. You could also do this per skin. It doesn't really matter. In my case, I'll just keep it at this. Uh, so if you do decide to make a new paint kit, just remember that you'll have to save it somewhere, uh, which will be done when you click inspect or preview, it'll automatically place the uh, right file in the paint kit folder. Then in here, since we are in the right folder, it's already going to be right here. You can just search for your name, or if you have it at the top like me somehow, you can also just click and accept it. Then these colors here uh, should be pretty light um, it depends on what it's on but for me it was all random colors like purple and stuff I don't want that so just change this to white and a bit of dar darker colors uh, for the patina wire and the grime and then the texture placement you want to set everything to zero and then for the uh, paint roughness you could change it up a bit it doesn't matter or you could lessen it it just depends on how you want your skin to look so if we take an look here we can see that our skin was exported successfully and it actually looks like this now this is probably due to the roughness here that it looks like that so if we change the roughness to zero we can see that it's a bit more glossy here so there we go that's pretty much how you make a skin for the whole USB so now let's go ahead and actually change it so that we can modify each part individually. So let's go back to Intract and close out of this. And what we can do is we can save this here. So we save that model so that will be added to our save points here. So we can then delete our old one and we can rename this if we want. So for example, USB V1, you know, it's the first version. So that way you can always go back to a previous version. So now to actually go ahead and modify individual parts, what we want to do is we want to come over to the model data section here and we want to click on extract UV nodes. Now we click on extract and this will simply extract every single part individually. 
so we can modify it individually. All right, so that might have taken a while, but at least we're done now. As you can see, the exact UV map has changed, so we also kind of lost our um, design here. So what we can now do is we can actually click and we can see that we can select every single part of the USB here. Now if you want to select multiple parts at once, you just hold shift while you are clicking and you can see that it will chain them all together. And then we can do the same we have done before. So for example, if you want to make that blue, we can. And add the texture, we can also do that. Let's take this one now. And then if you want other parts to be a different color, different texture, you can also just select them and then you can also change those. So for example, we want to make this just a simple red here. We click on the red and then let's just, I don't know, add a decal for the, on the USB here. This is obviously a bad example because this is actually a sticker in the game. So whatever, <laughs> it doesn't really matter, just a tutorial. But anyway, we can have this right here. This is a really nice skin. So let's hope it, get, it gets accepted to the workshop. <laughs> then what we can do is we can export and it's basically the same as before. We just want to wait here. It's not an extra step you need to do. You can simply just click on export and it will export the same way as a another skin. So here we just do the TJ again. We download it. And then we want to go ahead and also place this in our paint kits folder and we will name this USB V2. And then we can open up the workshop and test that out in game as well. Right, so once we're in the workshop again, we can go ahead and change this right here to USB V2 because that's what we named it, I think. Yep. And then we can simply inspect it again. Oops. Right, so as we can now see, this has changed the individual parts as well as the parts that we changed. So we can see that the stickers have been added right here, or the decals I should say. This has been made red, and then we have our texture over the top of the weapon here. Right, so another cool feature that Interact offers us is the ability to make a screenshot uh, for our thumbnail on the workshop item or even to export it and use it in a program like Photoshop or DaVinci or I mean Affinity Designer to edit it further. So what we can do is come over to the bottom right here and click on screenshot and record. In here we want to set the screenshot size to the size you want it. In our case and most cases it'll probably be 1080p. Then we can set a transparent background here and we can simply download this. So as we can then see, it will download it at the angle it is right here. So if you want to get a close up, you can simply zoom in. If you want to change the rotation, you can also do that. There's a lot you can do here. And then you just download and you can use that image in any photo editing software you want. All right, so that was pretty much it for this tutorial. I don't really have anything else to uh, say to you um, if you found this video helpful or if you have any suggestions for me or for interact uh, the program just leave them in the comments below and I will give the feedback to interact if it's something about interact and if it's something about me I will just comment right away and I will let you know um, what I will do as a feedback I'll probably implement it or if you're having any problems I'll help you with that as well so without further ado I will see you in the next video and bye bye